It's really just getting to the point now that the news is just not going to stop. This past week, Amazon Prime released not one, not two, but three pieces of marketing material in the form of a new poster, and then two exclusive looks that the show gave us of never-before-seen footage of the first season of the show. Today on the weekly Wheel of Time news, we have a ton to cover. We'll hit a new director for season two, an amazing interactive community event from the Wheel of Time Twitter account. As I mentioned, two exclusive clips released by Amazon and then a huge community announcement. I know some of you have seen the secret that's been teased out by people in the Wheel of Time community. Today, you will find out what we've been working on. So join me as we break down all of the Wheel of Time news and notes on the weekly Wheel of Time news. All right, so we've got a lot to cover, so let's just dive right in. Let's hit the spoiler warning for the video. Today's video is gonna carry a spoiler rating of green. There are going to be no major spoilers from the books. We will, however, be mentioning characters that are gonna pop up, some of the people in the marketing material from Amazon, but I will not be going into plot spoilers in this video. I will just be reporting on the teasers we've gotten. You should not be spoiled watching this, even if you haven't read the books. All right, so let's kick off the news with a new director for season two of The Wheel of Time, which is currently filming right now. This information comes courtesy of Wattseries.com, where else? Those people are awesome. Wattseries.com is reporting that American director Maha Virillo will be directing episodes of The Wheel of Time's second season. Now, she is an experienced television director with credits for directing hit shows like Prison Break, Elementary, Preacher, CSI, Hawaii Five-0, Star Trek Discovery, and Picard and SWAT. Now, it isn't clear how many episodes she will direct, but if they follow the formula from season one, she's likely going to get two of the eight episodes but we really don't even know for sure that there are gonna be eight episodes in season two. There could be a different number. Nothing has been officially announced. Now, Maha will be joining Thomas Knapper, Sanaa Hamri as directors for season two, although we have been told by Deadline that Sanaa Hamri will be directing half of the season. So it's possible that Maha and Thomas will be directing two episodes a piece. I think it's gonna be interesting to piece things together as we get more information about season two, but I don't imagine we're gonna to get tons of that, especially from Amazon, until way after season one has been released. That being said, the fact that they're working on all this now means that we're probably gonna get season two sooner than you would normally get it. All right, so let's move on to a poster release from the Wheel of Time Twitter handle. Now this release was interesting for more reasons than just getting a picture of Rosamund holding a trollic head. To release this poster, the Wheel of Time Twitter handle sent out individual puzzle pieces to people all across Twitter. Some went to fans, some went to creators. I got one of them. And the fan base was left to piece these together to see what the poster had to show us. There were Discord groups popping up and live streams trying to piece it all together. To my knowledge, the Watt Series Discord group was able to piece everything together first. After a few hours of work and almost 50 people helping to assemble the pieces in their Discord server. The end result was a beautiful poster of Moraine, who's being played by Rosamund Pike, and Leon Mandragoran played by Daniel Henney. Now Moraine is holding a dead Trollic head here, looking totally badass, and Lan looks like he's going to kill somebody with his stare. Now also, look at the detail on that Trollic head. I am super excited by the way these things look. This poster is a significant upgrade over the previous one that was released. I did not have good things to say about that. This poster, to me at least, conveys more of what the Wheel of Time is about, and it certainly implies that this is gonna be a lot more entertaining. What did you guys think of this new poster? Also, let me know what you thought of Amazon's strategy there with the puzzle pieces. I thought that was kind of cool. I thought it was unique. It's definitely a different way of trying to approach marketing. One thing to point out here, they know they have a very, very engaged fan base. Most marketing teams behind television shows are not doing stuff like this where they're sending stuff out directly to the community. This is totally unique. Do not take for granted, guys, the fact that a major corporation like Amazon is spending this much time to individually interact with the people that are the fan base for the show they're making. This is remarkable. I love the fact they did that. I would love to see them do more of this stuff. Let me know what you guys thought if you disagree with me in the comments of the video on that. So next, we got some completely unexpected content drops from Amazon this week for the first season of the show. We were all just riding our high from the puzzle poster fun, and then all of a sudden we got a Wheel of Time Twitter handle dropping a clip of Shadow Spawn. And just like every time clips are dropped, there's a huge reaction from people on the internet, there's tons to talk about. And so we thought, wow, 
two things in one week. And then Amazon just decided to drop another one on us on Friday, this time giving us a sneak peek of Alvaro Morte's Loghain, which again reignited the speculation and discussion that was still going on from the previous day's stuff. Now, I am not going to break those clips down frame by frame today. That's going to happen in my breakdown video for both of the clips that's going to come out on Sunday. Yes, actually Sunday this time, I have time to do it. But I will be giving my general reactions and my thoughts right now. And as non-spoiler as I can make them. I am extremely impressed with these clips. I think they absolutely nailed the Shadow Spawn, and Loghain is so intriguing that I really can't wait to watch the show. I like that they are not going to be shying away from the horror elements of the books, as well as some of the gore. Like, on the clip, a man literally got his head cut off by a trollic, which is badass. The depictions of channeling in the second clip look outstanding, and there are some interesting ideas about male channeling that they're showing that I can't wait to dive into in my clip breakdown. It's really amazing that they're packing so much stuff into these short clips. Bravo, Amazon, keep this stuff coming even though it brings me stress. I will eat up any piece of content that you want to give us. What did you all think of the teaser clips that were released? Make sure to also let me know in the comments of the video and stay tuned for my video breakdown on Sunday of both clips. All right, everybody, the time has come. I have been teasing something behind the scenes for a while now, and I know if you follow other creators, you have seen them teasing something similar. Today is the day we are going to let you know what we have been working on. So let me go ahead and play this clip to let you know what we've been up to. Welcome to WatCon, peeps. I've been super anxious to get this announced because I think it's going to be a ton of fun and I just wanted to talk about it. Basically, here's how this started. This past year, a bunch of us were at JordanCon. Fans, creators, tons of us. And it was literally so much fun. So much fun, in fact, that I will be back there, by the way, four days later this year, and so should you. So make sure to go to JordanCon. But a bunch of us wanted to go to another con, and there weren't any other major Wheel of Time cons that we could go to in person. So we just got to thinking. Why not put on another one? And so that's exactly what's happened. There are over 35 plus different content creators, fans, and really good organizers working behind the scenes to make this happen. Here's our goal. We want to create an environment where fans and creators can feel welcomed and can directly interact with each other and create deep lasting bond. I met some of my best friends now at JordanCon. I know other people that did the same. I, I can't wait to share that with everybody and meet a lot of you. We don't have much to announce right this second in terms of content, although we have a lot cooking, but I can say that we will have some special guests. We will have some pretty awesome scripted programming as well as live recordings of your favorite shows and a whole lot of other fun that I can't wait to tell you about once it's ready. I'll just say this, this will be a very different convention than anything you have ever seen. What I can tell you though is that WatCon will be held July 8th through the 10th here in Columbus, Ohio. So put that on your calendars now. Now right now ticketing is not open but it will be shortly. But there is one catch. It is extremely expensive to start a convention of this size that we're trying to pull off in one year. This is going to be an amazing yearly event for the entire community, but we need your help to get started. We've started a GoFundMe page to help raise the necessary funds to get the legal work done, secure the space, and all the other little things that you have to do before you can even start ticketing and start getting ready for the convention. Many of the creators have forked over a bunch of their own money and a number of different capacities to get the ball rolling, but we could really use your help if you have the means to help. You can check out the GoFundMe page at gofundme.com forward slash WatCon. You can also find the link in the description of this video. There are some very cool perks if you're able to give, and if you're able to give anything at all, really, you will be forever enshrined as a founder on our website. Honestly, anything is appreciated. Thank you to all of you that want to be a part of this. We are so excited to share the fun that we're putting together with you and do that for years and years to come. And thank you for watching the video, you all. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more Wheel of Time content. 
there is going to be tons and tons more of it coming here in the next months, and you want to make sure you're subscribed. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, peace out.